Hi, it's Jess here from myjessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So it's another junk journal episode and another one using the Edith Holden, the Country Dive and Edwardian Lady. So last time I made these three tags and now I've got to make three journaling cards and this is for a challenge on uh, the Facebook group Junk Journaling for Everyone. So I've if you watched last time, you would have seen that I have completely ripped up the book and I have sorted the pages out to ones with no images, ones with images on both sides, one with a, um, a double spread open page and one with images on both sides. And these are those beautiful um, month pages. So I have an idea for the journaling card and um, my idea is to do one that that opens out so i when i did the tags i did them all the same but um i'm thinking i might do these a little bit different that's quite a nice image that would work nicely for a folded out journaling card that's going in the wrong direction so there are a few images that are sort of half a page and those were my my thoughts and then of course I can't find one I think there's a kingfisher isn't there that's rather stunning that could be cut down to two possible that could be cut into two I'm liking that I hate those snakes don't know why I even kept them in there. Uh, oh, I've got a feeling the kingfisher is on one where there's two in a row. Oh, that would be a nice one. That would be a nice one. That would be a nice one too. As would that. So there's some possibilities. That would lend itself to go in half. So I don't need all of these. So I'm just kind of looking. I'm liking the idea of that one. So I'm going to leave those out so that I can pick, pick them out easily. So... I might just cut it in half. Let's try that. So, and um, I could maybe put on the inside of the card that plus a space for journaling I think that might be quite nice let's just take the raggedy edge off and then where does it fold if I'm folding it in half That's quite nice so that would look pretty You've got a bit of the, the poem and then we could put the next bit of the poem on the inside along with a bit of journaling on the other side. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm going to cut this down or I might rip round it, although that's got a straight edge there. I'm going to use my ruler. You would smack ruler and then it's not quite so neat. So we'll rip down there. Rip down there. So 
that would fit in there. So we need to cover this. The I used tea stain paper last time. So I'll get some tea stain paper from down here. That's coffee, I think. Oops. The scraps bin is collapsing. Tea. Stick that on there. And that gives it a little bit of strength, just like the other one. And it's just, we're just going to let the image, I'm not going to add anything else really. So this is quite a quick one. I might stitch around it. I did stitch around the tags and then that will give it a little bit of something, won't it? I quite like the idea of being able to a little poem, just a little bit of something extra. So a couple of people asked me what glue I use, it's colour glue. Widely available in the UK. It is a solvent glue, so it's not water-based. So you don't get any warping of the paper, which you sometimes get with water-based glue. Not going to the edge because I want to rip it. Gives you a nice smooth edge there. Nice and no bubbling. And then we can put the ruler up to the edge and rip it off so that the edge is not clean cut. Um, like before, I'm going to ink the edges with early espresso because that's a nice colour. It kind of goes with the writing. I might, I've got a little bird stamp, might use that. It's from a stamp set that we were given for a stamping up event, but there it is. There's some um, some quality issues with it. We all complained it didn't stamp right, so they've so they're not they're working on it. So it's not actually for sale, but. When I just want to stick a bit on and not necessarily have a perfect print, it will work for this. So I'm going to go around the edges. How cute is that? Now we did have a picture of the egg. We did have a picture of the egg. I could, could stick the egg up there actually, couldn't I? That might look cute. Or I have that as a separate little card. I wonder, ooh, perhaps not. I'm just wondering, I was thinking, could I? Um, I could get the egg.
just thought about turning that into a little postage stamp. I need to take that corner off. I might be able to fit that on. I need to give myself an arm. Oh, cooking on gas now. Got an idea. stick song thrush's egg along there so then we've got a label loving it so just glue that down there so that's labeled and then i might get my postmark stamp That's very cool. And then I want a postmark. And I've got a little postmark here. And I might use soft suede for this. A little bit of a book page. There we go. And then we want the wavy lines, which I've got in this set. Couldn't see if I look in there. love it and the other thing that I sometimes like to do is emboss I've got an embossing folder um, that is old world paper it's retired now but I run that through that gives it a look like it's been through the post so I'm going to do that so that's it embossed Get that off and you can see it kind of looks like it's been through the post what i sometimes like to do then is with a little bit i'm going to use crumb cake and just brush them over and it kind of looks a little bit like um it just ages it a little bit and shows up Shows up the distressing a bit more. So, quite like that. That's very cool. I uh, might leave the crumb cake out. And I might do a little bit. A little bit of stamping on here. Just to add a little something. I'm going to put that stamp on there. It's ever so slightly too big. I might just stuck it on the front. Quite like it on the front. I did want something there. So I got these stamps that I used last time. Quite nice for aging. Just adding a little bit of something extra. And I might. Yep, 
like it how that looks. I might have a bit up there. that gives it a nice little finish so we've got that for journaling put that on there stick that on there no I think I will have it on there quite like that look and do I want anything else on there apart from sewing uh, don't think so so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna stick that down and then I can sew around and then that will get caught in won't it so that's a nice journaling card room to write and you've got an extra little bit of the story there with having this poem about the song thrush and a nice little addition there of a little stamp so i'm going to get those sewn around so there we have it i've sewn around it and um that's it finished so i think that'll be a nice journaling card lots of space there for writing a little bit there if one wants to write there so that's quite pretty i might add a little butterfly or something up there that might be nice give it a little feature so i've got an edith holden inspired sewing book and on the top of all the pages there's like a little butterfly so that's what i was thinking and i'll just cut round it and stick it on there i think that would be nice put in a little bit of an ink round So it just adds a little bit of interest there on that back section. Yeah, so that is definitely finished now. So now we need to do another one. So I'm going to do one with this, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. So I'm going to cut. I might rip. I'm going to rip around. Looks like that. And I want... There we go, so I want that. So I'm going to ink around the edges of this. So I think that works pretty well. And I've got these of altered postcards that I did um, and I'm thinking that would make a nice journaling card on there but I want the that to go a different way so I'm gonna make one of these so I've got these postcards so these are old Stampin' Up! postcards they came in the kit 
and I'm going to cover it. I quite like the idea of covering it with music paper. I've got some to hand here. It's quite a nice colour. Use that. So we we'll stick it so. Just going to take a little emery board. Can't find one. We'll do a sanding block and we can just so then we want some of our tea stain paper. Maybe to put that. some blue label here. I think it's a bit bright. And then I'm going to add some stamping. So that is, I'm going to sew around it and then that will, that'll be done. I'm trying to decide if I want to put a tab on it. Don't think it needs a tab. I think it will be all right. And there it is, all, all sewn round. So that is two of my three journaling cards, both different. So um, now I'm going to do the last one. So for the last one, I think, because now I'm getting some some scraps. So I thought I might collage on on this with with the scraps that. I'm accumulating um, to give a give a background just just to be a bit different. Um, thought that might look nice. So go around it with a glue stick. Um, stick that bit down. Oh, I've stuck that down without then adding more glue. don't like doing that. I might put a bit of glue under it. I don't trust glue stick fully. So 
and I like to have a little bit more of a guarantee. Some other little bits here. Let's have a look at the other bits of scrap. So that's them all. Stuck down on there. So I'll just trim, trim off these bits. That's that. Is this bit big enough to cover the back? Not quite. So that's them done. So now my thoughts was I'm going to chop it in half. So I'm going to bring my guillotine for that because it might still be a bit. So that is five and three quarters. So we want to go to two and a half which is the five and then the three quarters is uh, three eighths. Does that look like it's in half? No, it doesn't actually, Jess. Because it's two and seven eighths. there. So that will be smaller journaling cards there. So I'm making an extra one. So that's that. So now we need to put some little, little somethings on there. Okay. Which of these ones that I chose. That would go on one quite nicely. So I think that we did before. So we'll have them. So we need to ink, ink those up. I might do it all in this actually.
So that's that bit. So now I want to do some stamping again. So I'm going to put these spots around. So now we're just going to sew around it to finish that off. And there's the there's them finished. So and I sewed that one a little bit different. Mixture of zigzag and straight edge. That one's just zigzagged all the way around. So that's my journaling cards done. From a challenge, so three tags, three journaling cards, I've made four. So that's a really good start of ephemera made for my Edith Holden journal. Thoroughly enjoyed that, so uh, on with the next challenge. <laughs> See you again soon, bye for now. I'll link to everything that I've used at Stamping Up that you can buy in my shop and that will take you straight to my shop to purchase it. So the punch and the ink and the stamps that I've used. Okay, bye for now.